Hi, I'm Scott Noon. I'm the CEO of Audio Advice. I'm super excited to share with you this video on the new Mad VR MV Mark II, a very unique product designed to make your home theater picture look better and more immersive than you could have ever imagined with a whole slew of great convenience features thrown in. If you know much about today's current video and how it's delivered, you know it's all in the digital domain. It has to pass through several steps in your system before you see the image. Most pieces in the signal path have some kind of video processor, and if you have ever seen a cheap television handle motion or pixelate, you have seen what a bad video processor looks like. Well, what if a company with over a decade of experience in producing software for home theater decided to come out with a professional video processor that blew everything else out of the water? That is what the MadVR MV products are all about. Now, I should tell you, like any device that provides high performance, there is a price to be paid for the best, and the two MV pieces are not cheap. But if you're like all of us at Audio Advice, there is nothing like a picture that takes us closer to real life. But the bonus with the Envy is a host of features that nothing else on the market has. After seeing the original MadVR Envy in 2021, I immediately purchased one for my own system. Since then, MadVR Labs has continued to launch software improvements, and now the release of the new MadVR Envy Extreme Mark II and Envy Pro Mark II. I'm gonna cover the main points that most people will wanna know about the Envies in this video. But if you finish this video and are still craving for more information, please follow the link in the description to our full written article at audioadvice.com where we get into even more granular detail. So let's start with a quick unboxing of the top of the line new MadVR NV Extreme Mark II. The Mad VR team started reviewing prototypes of this new Mark II with me over a year ago to get my input on everything from upgraded components to performance and aesthetics. They were fanatical about every piece of the design, including this entirely new custom case with aesthetics that are on par with other luxury AV products. They shrunk the footprint to 4RU, used better heat sinks, airflow design, and fans so you can now place it virtually anywhere in a theater and have it be nearly silent. The NV Extreme Mark II is powered by the NVIDIA 4080 GPU and has double the RAM and storage space of its predecessor. As you'd expect from a premium second gen product, the build quality is simply terrific inside and outside. The Mark II also has a redesigned remote with backlighting and more function buttons than the original. And both Envy models now include a five-year warranty, which is pretty exceptional in the world of high-end audiovisual gear. Like the Envy Extreme Mark II you see here, the Envy Pro Mark II also gets the same upgraded case, improved cooling, and all the other premium components, but also uses a more modest GPU. So what are all the great things that make the Envy such a unique piece of gear? First, you've probably heard about high dynamic range or HDR and wide color gamut. These two new processes coupled with 4K resolution can deliver an entirely new level of realism and visual impact when done right. But doing it right in our homes has one very big challenge. Most HDR mastering is done based on having a very high amount of brightness available on the display device. This can range anywhere from 1,000 to 10,000 nits. The problem is the best current televisions are usually only able to produce 600 to maybe 1,000 nits, and most front projectors are delivering in the range of 50 to 150 nits. This was addressed by the display manufacturers with tone mapping, where the output is adjusted based on the actual brightness range available on the display. The first attempt at this used static tone mapping for the entire HDR movie, which resulted usually in a very dark image, which probably you've experienced before. The NV products have you input the nit level of your display and use that to perform dynamic tone mapping where every single frame is independently analyzed and sophisticated algorithms are used to produce the best looking image. Okay, so I wanna share you an example of how well this works. Before I do, let me make two key points. First, you'll need to focus on what I'm telling you happens versus what you actually see in YouTube. By definition, YouTube is compressing what I'm showing you, so the examples of video improvements are dramatically reduced versus seeing them in person. But you'll get the point. The second point is that the Envies have incredible customization capability, which you'll hear me talk about. For the vast majority of people, 
Audi Advice or another great dealer will handle setting all this up for you. However, for those of you who are really into playing with your settings, you can tweak to your heart's content. For showing tone mapping, I'm going to use photos from one of the Harry Potter movies. The image on the left is from a very high-end front projector without the MV in the signal path. The one on the right is with the MV. Just take a look at the bottom left area where a lightning bolt is striking Harry's hand. Without the MV, it is just completely white with no detail or color. But with the MV, the full detail and color is clearly seen, providing a much more exciting image. The same can be seen in the faces at the upper left and right sides. Without the envy, you can just barely make out that these are actually even faces and are mostly whited out. But with the envy, they are clearly seen with full detail and color. Similar examples could be used where the envy provides the same benefit on the darker end, preserving shadow details, but you get the point. Another feature I really love and use a lot is aspect ratio management. There are many different aspect ratios in the content we enjoy, from 16x9 to 2.0, used a lot on Netflix, to 2.4. For most movies, there's a huge range of ratios. If you have a 16x9 display and watch a widescreen movie, you'll see black bars at the top and bottom of your screen. The MV allows you to automatically move the entire image up or down, eliminating one of those black bars. But the big deal is for those of us who have scope or widescreen front projection systems. If you have a system like this, you're probably using lens memory on your projector to switch between the aspect ratios, which can take 10 to 20 seconds, and those set points can drift a little over time if you move between them a lot. One of the cool things about the Mad VR Envy is that it can auto sense. If you have a 16 by nine, it will fill a wide screen with 16 by nine. If you're watching a 2.0 movie, it will move it a little bit wider. If it's 2.4, it will automatically fill the entire screen. Now, what's super cool though, is when you have a wide screen like this, one of the major problems is when you watch a movie like an interstellar that's got multiple aspect ratios in it. A movie like that will fill your screen with 2.4 and then as soon as it cuts to 16 by nine, it overscans way up there and down here and you lose like 25% of the picture. The Mad VR fixes that. So if you take a look here at Interstellar, what you'll see is as it moves, moves between 16 by nine and 2.4, it automatically rescales everything and fully fits it all onto the screen. Totally cool. If you're a sports fan with a widescreen front projector, you'll probably love the nonlinear stretch feature. Almost all sporting events are broadcast in 16 by 9, leaving big black bars on the sides of your widescreen. You can set up the Envy to smartly remove the black bars. In my system, I have the Envy slightly crop off part of the top and bottom, which is usually unused content. Then I have it ever so slightly stretch the image towards the outer parts, which are less important than the center. The end result is that during my Super Bowl party, my screen was totally filled and incredibly immersive. Once you have things set up, they'll be recalled and used instantly and automatically by the MV. If you watch a lot of foreign films on a 2.4 widescreen, you've likely run into the issue where they put subtitles below the image. When you adjust the image to fill your widescreen, the subtitles disappear and you have to switch back to 16 by 9 to see them, which drastically shrinks your image. Well, the MV allows you to have it ever so slightly shrink the image so you can see the subtitles as you can see here. This is a huge benefit and it works extremely well. And even better, it does this automatically needing no button presses. Now, let me show you how cool the setup is for this. Again, we live and breathe this stuff, so our team constantly talks about what are the best settings in our own personal systems, and we apply those to our customer systems, so don't let the menu scare you. As all of you video enthusiasts know, your HD content has to be upscaled for your 4K projector or TV. This can take place at the source, your AVR or pre-pro, or at the display. These can do a decent job, but have nowhere near the processing power of the Envy. To my eyes, the Envy makes HD content look almost as sharp and detailed as a true 4K image. The Envy also has a whole host of settings to further improve the image. These include options for sharpness, edge enhancement, reduction of grain, compression artifacts, mosquito noise, as well as other tools. I find that adding just a little sharpening to upscaled HD material provides a significant improvement in image quality, and a little noise reduction makes watching older, grainier movies more enjoyable. You can see here from the menu how easy this is to adjust. If you're lucky enough to be using an anamorphic lens with your scope screen, you know your projector only gives you two modes. 
Well, the Envy takes care of this with an infinite number of possible modes, letting you get all of the advantages of your lens, and it's all automatic. You anamorphic lens users also probably know about barrel or pin cushion distortion. You see these on the edges of your image when using an anamorphic lens. As you might have guessed, the MV Extreme will let you precisely dial those distortions out, perfectly filling your screen without distortion. Okay, here's the part that will blow your minds. I've never seen anything this flexible on an audio video product. The MadVR team came up with a way to group any collection of settings. These are stored under what's called a profile. Think about that for a minute. Let's say I want a certain kind of artifact reduction and subtitle handling for my Blu-ray player and a different one for my Apple TV. You can just set those up as profiles and instantly recall them when it sees which source. Now, those of you into tweaking probably just had an aha moment on this feature. Yep, you can set up different settings to quickly A-B them to see the difference. My primary use of profiles is that I have the system use its aspect ratio and nonlinear stretch capabilities, fill my 2.4 screen with all content for daily viewing. My entire family loves it this way, but when I want to watch a 16 by 9 movie exactly as it was produced, I hit one button and it removes all the stretching and other adjustments to give me the perfect 16 by 9 picture. Our team at Audio Advice has done this enough now that we can really quickly figure out through a few questions what a customer wants, and then we implement our best practices that we use in our own homes to achieve that. For those of you who want to geek out, you'll love the way the MV lets you experiment. First, the MV has the best built-in help information I've seen for any AV product, making it super simple for users to play around and adjust settings themselves. Additionally, every setting can be active, temporary, or base. Once you make a change, it goes into temporary. If you decide you like the change, all you've got to do is save it to a profile or save it to your base setting. So how about upgrades? For the vast majority of people, your MadVR MV will just get installed and you'll set it and forget it. However, if you are really into this stuff and want to experience new features as they roll them out, the MVs have a software update system that feels a lot like my Tesla. Every time I get a new update with new features, I can't wait to implement it. If you have dealt with home theater firmware updates in the past, you know they can be a huge pain and usually require a USB stick you're recording to and putting it into the device. Well, the Envy updates firmware in 15 to 30 seconds, all online in one simple button press. And should you want to revert back to a prior firmware version, it's the same one button press, 15 to 30 second process. I wish every single manufacturer would provide this capability. Since MadVR continues to provide improvements and new features, this update capability is super cool. MadVR also has some great tech on their roadmap for the MV Extreme with its tremendous computational power, including these that you see on the screen now. And as an MV Extreme Mark II owner, these will be free when they're released. All right, I could not wait to show you guys this new Motion AI tech. You'll see I've put a line down the screen here. On the left is using the new Motion AI, and on the right, there's no Motion AI going on here. Again, this is an alpha. There's so many cool scenes I want to show you guys that is totally game changing. However, there's still some bugs, as you might imagine, alpha. But by the time most of you see this video, this thing is going to be rocking. Let me show it to you. On Baby Driver, you're going to see a pan go down here. On the right, you're going to see all these motion artifacts and judder. In the left, just a beautiful, beautiful motion. Again, I, I hope you could see that. I could show you clip after clip, but I want to keep this thing tight. If you get the chance to go to a show like Audio Advice Live, you'll get a chance to see this. You would think that with so many sophisticated features, the Envy would be a challenge to set up. It's actually the opposite. You simply plug the MV in, connect an HDMI cable between your receiver or processor and the MV, and then HDMI out from the MV to your television or projector. That's it. Your dealer will then configure the MV based on your system and personal preferences. Your dealer can then nail all the software settings in person or can establish a remote connection to your MV and can walk through the settings as if they were in the room with you and quickly fine tune your setup. We have numerous customers with vacation homes in remote locations and have become incredibly adept at remotely setting these up for them. I've been really impressed with how my MV not only dramatically improved my picture, but also how it made my theater far simpler for my family to use. So what are the downsides? First, these units are not cheap. However, if you have the budget, it is unmatched in its ability to improve your video experience. 
For those of you who would love this experience but find the new Mark II out of your budget, give us a call at Audio Devices. We will be upgrading Envy customers from prior versions to the Mark II and reselling the certified pre-owned Envys at a lower price point. The certified pre-owns will also come with a full two-year warranty. Second, all that processing does take time and adds about 200 milliseconds of delay to the video signal. So if you're a serious gamer, you'll want to run a second HDMI cable from the Envy's zero latency bypass output to your display to eliminate this delay. As one of the largest Mad VR dealers in the world, we've seen pretty much every permutation of projectors, receivers, and room set up with an Envy. Every single customer so far has raved about it, which to us is the ultimate sign of success. If you have more questions, feel free to give us a call at audioadvice.com or stop by one of our award-winning showrooms. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, be sure to click like and subscribe. Also, check out our home theater section at audioadvice.com where we have our free home theater design tool, installation videos, buyer's guides, and inspiration videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.